The South West Coast Path is one of England and Wales national trails. National trails are long distance routes for walking, cycling and horse riding through the finest landscapes in England and Wales. In Scotland, the equivalent trails are called long distance routes. There are 15 national trails in England and Wales and the South West Coast Path is the longest. To walk it all would take around 56 days, but most people choose to walk the path in sections, discovering its rugged and remote cliff tops, steep coastal valleys and busy harbours and resorts at their own pace. For my trek of discovery along the South West Coast Path, I'm based at the Nair Hotel on the south coast of Cornwall. And to tell me more about the path and the area, I'm meeting Peter Maxted and Julian Powys from the Cornwall area of outstanding natural beauty on the Nair's rather windy terrace. So Peter, tell me about the South West Coast Path. Well, the South West Coast Path begins in Minehead in the north and runs all the way around to Poole in Dorset in the south. But at least half of it um, is the Cornish Coast Path and takes in, well, all of the coast of Cornwall, actually. It's one of the reasons that I'm still in Cornwall. I, I came down here to study and I fell in love with the idea that you can leave the house in the morning and just wander off for four hours and look at the sea and think and uh, occasionally spot dolphins. It, it's a glorious little path of freedom. I love it. So what's your favourite part of the coast path? I joined the path at a, a, a place called Swampool, which is sort of a brackish lake, which is kind of interesting in itself, surrounded by a sort of woody marsh, which is a sort of otherworldly place to enter the coast path from. And I climb from there and I walk along the coast path just going north. And um, I don't really like to look at the map. I like to sort of meander and get a bit lost and see where I end up and uh, discover new little beaches. Discovering tiny beaches where that are completely empty, that may be covered by the sea for, for most of the day. It's, um, it's, it, you're, you're exploring and discovering things, it's lovely. So tell me about the AOMB. Well, the Cornwall area of outstanding natural beauty is about a third of Cornwall and it takes in all the best parts of the coast. So I would say at least 80-90% um, of it runs through the, the Cornwall AOMB. Basically the best bits of the county. So what exactly can you find in the area? Well, uh, of course there's a stunning coastline, very different on the north coast to the south coast. The north coast is more rugged, the south coast is softer and uh, more gentle. Inland, of course, we've got Bodmin Moor and the, the Camel Estuary. Um, but, you know, you've got pretty much everything. You've got uh, Cornish archaeology, you've got fantastic uh, stone walls, you've got stunning views, high cliffs, shingle beaches, sand beaches. You know, the, the variety in Cornwall is probably greater than it is anywhere else in the country. The South West Coast Path Association exists to support the interests of users of the path and its secretary, Steve Church, tells me more about the path's history. It started originally, largely anyway, as a route for coast guards to get round the entire coast of, of the South West. Uh, goes way back, some of, some of the bits can be dated back to the 1600s, 1700s. Um, some places you've still got some of the old coast guard cottages, the old coast guard lookouts which uh, dot the path as it goes around. Um, obviously large bits have disappeared in the interim since those days, since those very early days. But uh, following on from uh, an Act of Parliament in the late 1940s, uh, we became one of the so-called national trails, or long distance paths as they were originally called. Longest one in the country, 630 miles, which does follow these old uh, Coast Guard paths. But of course so many of them disappeared that um, after the official legal setting up of the coast path happened, um, it, was, it was a situation whereby the line was there on the map, but so often the line wasn't there on the ground. And in actual fact, it was that situation which did lead to the establishment of the South West Coast Path Association back in the 1970s. So with 2013 being the 40th anniversary of the path, what special events are planned to mark the occasion? We've got the, ma the major event comes up in the spring, it's over April and May. What we've decided to do is to try and have a relay race, or relay walk I should say. It was inspired by the Olympic torch idea, which as you know went all the way through the country. So we we're having an Olympic, not an Olympic torch, but possibly an Olympic boot, um, which will go all the way around the coast path. 
Um, one walk would start up at one end, up at Minehead, um, go all the way down the north coast to Land's End. The other walk could start at um, Pool Harbour on the southern side, all the way along the south coast also to Land's End, meet up for our, uh, our celebration, 40th anniversary celebration at Land's End itself, uh, early May, May the 7th in fact, just after bank holiday. When I say walk, I don't mean one person or a lot of people are walking the whole thing. We've divided up the coast path into 20 odd sections along the north coast, 30 odd sections along the south coast. Uh, convenient bite-sized sections, um, reasonable days or half days, inviting everybody to join us, um, whether they're members of the Coast Path Association or not. Uh, they're, they're all guided walks, we're laying on transport, so everything's done. They get a free t-shirt as well, and come, when they come along for the walk, hopefully they'll be bringing some sponsorship money with them. That sponsorship money will then be added up and go towards improvements to the Coast Path. We are hoping everybody will join us, as many people as possible will join us to bring their money. It's advertised on a website, greatsouthwestwalk.co.uk. And if you go onto that, uh, onto that website, it sets out when all the walks are. They go day after day after day, as I say. How long they are, where they go, where, where you start and finish. And you sign up that way. And we hope, you know, please, everybody, as many people as possible, come along. Not only will you be helping us, but you'll be having a fantastic day out as well. With its 630 miles to choose from, the Southwest Coast Path is a stunning trail, one of the best in the world. And basing yourself in a hotel along the coast, like the Nair, is a great way to discover it. For more information about the Great Southwest Walk event, visit the website at greatsouthwestwalk.co.uk. And our website has more information about walks around Britain.